So grade 11s, the last time we're looking at this section of multiplication and division of exponents, I showed you how you can actually change the basis into prime factors. But what happens when we've got thirds in the mix? Right, please note that the laws still apply. We're still going to do exactly the same thing. If you didn't watch that video, please have a, a look at it. And now let's solve this problem. If you can, pause the video, try to solve it for yourself and see what my solution looks like. Well, let's dive right into it. I hope that you were able to pause and do try out the example for yourself. Let's get right into it. Well, firstly, we're going to change all our bases into prime bases, right? Now, in this case, remember that 4 can simply be written as 2 squared, right? So now if it is 2 squared, we're going to raise it to the power 2n minus 2. Nothing changes there. Multiply it by 8. So remember, how did we change 8? We said that's 2 to the power of 3, okay? And this is 5 minus 2n divided by, that's the square root of 16. Now, 16 can simply be written as 2 to the exponent of 4, right? Um, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 16. All right, and that gives us 6 minus, raised to the power rather, as 6 minus 2n. Now remember, whenever you've got a third, if our third in this case uh, just has uh, no number in front of it, okay, we assume that that is a square root, okay, so which means automatically the number there becomes 2. Okay, please remember that, ladies and gents. So now, remember that we can rewrite this. Now, the laws of exponents, we said whenever you've got a third, okay, let's say a to the exponent m, okay, and we are raising that to the nth root, or we are taking that to the nth root, so we can rewrite this as a m, that becomes the numerator, divided by n, so the root in this case simply becomes uh, the denominator of the exponent, okay? So please keep that in mind. So I'm going to apply exactly the same rule, right? So we've got two, okay, maybe let's uh, uh, have that as two times 2n minus two. I've changed absolutely nothing. So remember that uh, that multiplies into the bracket. But now the third becomes the denominator, so that becomes divided by 2. Okay, so that it becomes very clear. Let me write that big enough. Okay, that's multiplied by, so we've got base of 2. So 3 multiplied by 5 gives us 15. Okay, so there we are. We are multiplying into that. So 3 times 5 is 15 minus 3 times 2 which will give me 6n. So that's minus 6n. Right, so this divided by, again, we're going to, uh, to uh, apply the very same rule. So we're going to say 2 into 4 times 6 minus 2n. Okay, let me write the 2 big enough. Right, and we are dividing this, right, by the third, and that becomes the denominator in our exponent, okay? So now we can be able to solve. So uh, the two and the two can cancel out. So I'm left with two raised to the power two n minus two times two, 15 minus six n divided by, now remember, 2 goes into itself once, and into 4, it goes twice. So this is the same as saying 2 to the power of 2 into 6 minus 2n. I hope that you are getting this, ladies and gents. So now all of my bases are 2. We can actually 
just apply the laws of exponents, right? So that's going to be 2n minus 2. Remember, bases are the same. I'm adding the exponents. That's plus 15 minus 6n, right? But remember, at the denominator, I've got 2 times 6, which is 12. So that becomes minus 12. I've got 2 times negative 2n, which is minus 4n. But remember, it changes sign when it gets to the numerator. So that's plus 4n. All right, and finally, let's take all the like terms. That's four, uh, 2n minus 6n gives us minus 4n plus 4n gives us 0. So these cancel out. Okay, and finally, we've got minus 2 plus 15, which gives us 13, right? And 13 minus 12 gives us 1. So our final answer is 2 to the power of 1, which is actually equal to 2. Right, I hope that you've got that, ladies and gents. That is essentially how the cookie crumbles. Please try out some more examples that are somewhat similar in nature. And I hope that you get them right. Ladies and gents, what I'll do in the future is that I'll give you as many exercises that you can actually try out. But of course, you can also go onto our website to get some more questions that have got solutions in them. For now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.